Hello everyone and welcome back to a new year and new adventures. Let's see, I'm gonna that. Okay, so last year we were playing uh, Waterdeep Dragon Heist, but that campaign has ended. Uh, we came into a conclusion. So we were talking about starting a new campaign and uh, this is where we came up with. So we are playing an adventure I put together in the world of Eberron. It's a very short adventure. Uh, it's gonna lead the characters up to level three. Yeah, you're on the one, right? Yeah. But I'm, I'm in the front line. So. This is true. To mute them. Uh, so we're just going to take the characters up to level three. And uh, after that, we're going to move on to another campaign. So I hope you enjoyed this campaign. Uh, it's a homebrew, uh, my first one actually. Uh, it will lead the characters to a little twist. So I hope you like it and uh, yeah, stay put and watch. Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay. The stream is live now. We have started the stream. We have started the stream. The stream is live, boys. Yeah, I hope they do. Hello, Athena. Welcome back. The stream is live. Well, that's great. I'm sick. What? Sorry if I sound horrible. <laughs> Ah, that's no problem. There, there may be some coughing. <laughs> ah, just use push to talk like I do when I'm streaming. All right, everybody remember the meta game by watching his stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like some of you are older than did the last time I You're streamed. Like, I up your viewership. <laughs> ah, yeah, I you did, you did. <laughs> And I thank you so much for that. <laughs> Just let your friends know we are st we are back now, streaming again, a new campaign. Just let them know. I have someone watching right now. <laughs> Yeah, that's you. <laughs> okay, remember the rule: no meta gaming. I'm not. I have my character sheet over your entire screen. I'm just trying to help your viewers. Hmm. Oh. You you're very lovely. You know that. I know. You're lovely and kind. Oh, I have, I have a new subscriber on my YouTube channel. Nice. It's a fan. Whoa, laughing giraffe. 
Well, welcome. <laughs> Hello, DKSMK. <laughs> okay, okay, so do any of you want to do the recap? Wait, uh, let's see, how many are we? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I will roll a d5, and if you can manage to do a nice. Good enough recap, you will be awarded with the DM inspiration. Uh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Cody! Yep. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking at the names. So, uh, um, <laughs> no, no, not the, uh, not the number. <laughs> yeah, everyone. That, yep. yep. His name is Gara. Gara. His. John Belly, welcome. Thank you for following. Geo89, thank you for following. Uh, John, okay. Hmm. Lekurabai. Uh, you can't? Oh, yeah, I can. You guys just have to turn his volume to the very max and then you can hear us. You have to have it like all the way up. Yeah, you should. You should be able to. You should be able to hear what my players are saying. Calling us gay men because not only do we have something to fight off the attackers, 
this, but apparently he's also been spying on us for our entire lives. That's what they do. Good. <laughs> yeah, that was very good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> The best and brightest. Yeah, that was really great. Uh, yeah, two or three people, yes. So, Cody, reward your, uh, award yourself with a Bardic Inspiration. Uh, uh, with a GM Inspiration. Not a Bardic, GM Inspiration. Huh? Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like once that three and one damage vicious mockeries, but they did the trick. They were humili humiliated, and you killed a bunch of them. Yeah. yeah, as long as they do the tricks, uh, yeah. Okay, so I have all of you leveled up. Nice. I'm so squishy. Oh, <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were. You you. Well, you, you were. You had. You have a, like a one d six hit die, and you didn't take the average. So yeah. Oh. All I know is for a tiny oh, little fucker, I'm a. D8. Yeah, one D eight, but you don't have any con modifiers, so you should have had like an average of five. So, so, <laughs> so instead of a nine, you should have had. 13 hit points instead but yeah but you st yeah but you have a nine so it, it, that makes this all much more interesting <clears throat> okay, so the damage, uh, the danger has been averted. Uh, everyone has been killed. Uh, Gara is just coming towards you and uh, tells you we should hurry up and uh, hide these bodies. I know, I know a place. We could hide them in the lockers. And he points to this place. No one will ever find it because I will lock them up so no one can enter it. <clears throat> this is what my life has come to. I'm hiding bodies. Really? Really? Uh, this is more if I come to say. <laughs> Well, uh, you managed to fit all of them in, and we also have uh, one space to spare. <laughs> yeah, like, oh yeah, several times. Oh yeah, several times is a very good movie. Also, I forgot, uh, since you guys haven't taken a long rest 
yet. You won't be benefit. You won't benefit for with your new skills and stuff. Just remember that you're. Re yep, you guy. <laughs> Uh, ga, 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 that is actually not a bed. That is more like a. That is more like a forge. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, te technically not, because uh, you haven't taken a long rest yet. Can't we just take a long rest here? <laughs> I look to if um, I move my shoulder and I extend my hand and uh, just like in a shake your hand gesture and I say thanks for having me but uh, I am like involved in this I am like up and in this person's business because I'm watching this interaction. Hank is like, she flushes real hard. <laughs> well, well, Kara tells uh, you that you, if you have any bad rolls, uh, uh, if you have any equipment, uh, sleep equipment, you can always rest. Uh, here on the main floor. There are some blankets and uh, pillows in the lockers. Yeah. What is that divided by base? Uh, e each. Oh. Seven each. When you have rested up, uh, like I need to do, uh, we should talk. We should talk about the mission. What I need you to uh, do. There's more. Well, I told you I was doing a potion and needed an ingredient, but I didn't say where and how you how you're gonna get there to find it. Uh, you can rest up, yes. I'm over here, into this corner, way away from all those men. <laughs> hey, mama. <laughs> I'm going to, like, uh, rest and, uh... Oh, just take a shower, take a shower. Oh, there's a woman here. <laughs> it might smell in there. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> you do you don't have to take uh, you no this is a long rest so uh, we're a long rest? uh yes this is a long rest because uh this is the uh, the attack was done in late afternoon 
not during lunch or morning it was late afternoon and it took you over an hour to get here to the tower and then you had only a few minutes uh, before you got prepared and he had to tell you a few things so now you're taking a long rest uh, you're taking a long rest and uh, when you wake up you smell Freshly made breakfast on this table here. Bag of holding, okay. Uh, uh, can you do that on your second level? Yeah. I'll aid her because I also have tingling, so I'll just like help her. Yeah, this is uh, medical. This is medical stuff. And what materials do you need to make a make a? Artificer. Yes. So like, where are you? Oh, you're over there. When you wake up, I'm like standing outside your door, just like patiently waiting for like a little mouse or something to run out. So I just had it. <laughs> like your door is like, let's say your door's closed. I'm literally sitting at the foot of it like a little child, just like waiting. <laughs> Let's see, you gain the ability to imbue mundane items with certain medical infusion. The magic items you create with this feature are effectively prototypes of permanent items. Uh, da, da, da. When you gain this feature, pick four. Infusion? No. When you gain this feature, pick four Artificer Infusions to learn. Choose it from the Artificer infusion section at the end of the class description. You learn additional infusion of your choice when you reach certain levels in the class. Uh, Using a finish along you can touch a non medical object. And use. Uh, what type of infusions have you uh, chosen? Well. Uh, I guess you can make a bag of holding, so. <laughs> we have a bag of holding. We should make one for all of us every day. Replaceable <laughs> items. Sec <laughs> Re replaceable items. Second level artificer. Yeah, you can definitely make a bag of holding. It requires no attunement too, so. So, a bag of holding and what else? 
What else did you choose? Yeah, yeah, but what what else did you choose? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. I... Okay. Good to know. Yeah, so just you so you just made yourself a bag of holding. What Mr. Wizard, sir? I made I made a bag of holding. That's very impressive, little one. Very impressive indeed. That is a mon very good item to have on your journey. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make sure you have tokens for that after the session. Uh, so I know. Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't turn into a demon and scare the shit out of people. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Well, hmm. By the way, since we are both nobles, do I, do I recognize like Kyra at all? Yeah, she could be shit because uh, I try really hard to be nice to everybody. Okay, okay, that, that, that just sounds like a shitty thing. Well, even if you're nobles and you're grown, uh, you grown up in the same city. Uh, Sean is a pretty big one. I mean, yeah, because there are like parts and stuff that can be for each one. If you stop at one, you'll probably be pretty shit. Yeah, <laughs> well, you never know. Well, uh, God says, if you all join me at the breakfast table, I will now tell you about the mission. Yeah, you can see all kinds of food. It's very delicious uh, breakfast food, uh, like the ones you get served in uh, taverns and uh, inns. Not, uh, it's not like a common food. It's more, uh, more of a little luxury food. While you were sleeping, he uh, used the dimension door and uh, teleported away and got back with food. <laughs> he just, it's the fastest way for him to travel. Dimension door, buy stuff and get back. <laughs> You're like, no, 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 must have found out I discovered a way to revert myself back to my rightful self and uh, I guess they don't like it yes uh, yesterday I told you I've been I have been living in this form for a thousand years so I'm I am very old and I was very old before that too so I also told you I'm a dragon 
My original form is a dragon. I won't tell you what kind of dragon I am right now. You will see. I will leave that as a surprise. There are different types of dragons. And what everything you heard about dragons in stores and stuff. Uh, about uh, certain dragons are good, certain dragons are evil. That's not entirely true. Sure, why not? It's an inside check. Let's see, a liqueur by just in case play is still audible from from the well. Well Well he's telling the truth, actually. You believe him that uh, but uh stories like you believe he's a dragon? And that he's thousand years old. Uh, the stories about dragons uh, uh, that uh, used to be uh, the stories you heard about dragons that are good and evil. Hmm. Well, uh, that's something you have a really hard time believing in. But for now, you you think what he's saying is the truth. Hmm. Well, uh, what I need from you, uh, I need a final ingredient for my potion. And I believe once I have it and mixed it with the rest of the ingredients, I will be able to turn back. And once I do... Ah, very good question. And he takes out the map. Of the continent and show is gonna show you. So it shows the uh, it shows you the uh, map of the continent. It's a very vast continent. He show it tells you where you are. That's the red dot on the map. And it tells you that you need to travel all the way up. All the way up here to drum keep. You need to land. Uh, you go. Uh, you will be flying in a ship that will be landing in the Silver Lake. You will be walking about two or three miles to the keep, and there you will rest up, depending on what time of day it is. And then you will head up to the Black. The black cars, black caps. It's a mountain range near the Silver Lake and Lake Galif. There you will find a cave with friendly humanoids that has this mushroom. It grows inside their cave. It's a black mushroom. They have no further use for it, actually, but uh, they, they can't use it, but they still let it grow because they have seen what can happen if they try to eat it. It doesn't go well for... Uh, this mushroom will either kill you or turn, to, uh, turn you into something evil and try to kill your friends. This mushroom is for us dragon. It's like nourishment for dragons, usually. Well, you're like not right now. well, I have dragon blood in me, so 
that's why I can use it. I have researched this for over a millennia, so I know. Who's doing that? So, I uh, was a lot of background noise. Uh, so, I researched this for over a, mil uh, over a millennia and uh, I know that I can use it. It's no danger to me in this form. Make sure you don't uh, smell it or breathe in the vapors from it. I cannot guarantee the effects, but it will be. <coughs> yes, they do, but they don't. Uh, they leave it alone. This is a very rare mushroom. This is the closest mushroom. Uh, cave I can I could have find and uh, the distance you have to travel is about 130 miles one uh, 130 kilometers like uh, I have uh, hired a sh ship and a crew to take you there and back But this ship, this ship can, uh, since it has no place where to hover, uh, it needs to land at the lake. It can start and land in the lake. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I have taken care of all the expenses for you. Well, like I said before, I will give you a gift if you if we all succeed you will be giving a gift of glory that will glorify your life forever <laughs> you will see what the gift is you you will you you will know when the time comes Let's just say it will make your life a lot better and much more glorious. Anyway. Anyway, I needed to go to I needed to go to the terminus, the top of the terminus, uh, where the ship is waiting for you. What did they give them, by the way? What give them? I've always been busted. No, you didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, you're the bard! Alright, I'm your new mommy. 
Okay. I didn't spend the rest of the day just like making sure you're alright and fixing your hair. <laughs> 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 when you leave, I uh, I'll just let me know when you're ready to leave, and I will cast uh, arcane lock on the door so no one can get in. Yeah, uh, the terminus. Well, it's he uh, kind of tells you where uh, the terminus is and how it looks like if any of you. Uh, not been there uh, it's a place where people can take train or uh, leave by small airships uh, that uh, functions like a taxi around the city flying taxi yep yeah it's a very advanced city with lots of high towers Okay, when you guys are ready, I will transport you there. Uh, uh, yeah, well, we all see it. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> just so you know, my, just so you know, my viewers can <laughs> see it too, so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can everybody see where you are? No. no. It's pitch black. How about now? Can you see now? Yes. Oh, honey, he wouldn't try to kill you if he's standing right here. <laughs> so you're all uh, at the terminus, and you need to go the, to the highest peak of the tower. You are at the bottom floor. Uh, uh, do you still have haste on you? Like, am I deceased? <laughs> no, you're not deceased. Well, I'm not scared of nothing. So I'm walking around. Oh, you can hear them now? Lakurabai, you can hear you can hear my players? Well, hello. Uh, do you know how I can get to the top floor of this establishment? Uh, yes, you take the stairs over, uh, over there, and then you will head up to the balcony. Uh, you will go up one floor. So, do everyone follow? Good. Hey, no <laughs> Can I do a. Um, wait! I want to do this one. 
Wait. Uh, you guys are like up here on the outside. Who is this ugly looking creature? Uh, that is a harpy, a friendly harpy. Can confirm. All at the bottom of well, I'm afraid. Uh, okay. Well, oh, sorry about this, guys. Can you hear any of them? Or none at all? No, it's not. You have to go inside. You have to. You have to go inside that door in front. Uh, in front of me, and he points to this door. And you have to move. Take the circular stairs. When you get up there to the top, uh, to the next floor, yeah, you are. When you get up to the next floor, you, uh, somebody is waiting for you. No. Lotion out. I'm just gonna start lotioning his legs because I'm that high on him. <laughs> you you are now up here. Oh, come on, it's lagging a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh. What's this still at the bottom of the well mean? They are speaking not English. What? On the stream. Uh. They can't hear you for some reason. Oh. Come on. Okay, you are being greeted by a group of gnolls. Yep. Five of them to be exact. One of them is one of them is standing right here and there's another one standing into the corner uh, corridor and uh, three of them standing uh, in the room below you. Uh, you gain an uncanny sense when things nearby aren't as they should be giving you an edge when you dodge away from danger. I had used it when we entered the tower. Uh, okay, uh, do you use... Yeah, okay, so... 
you can, when you go up the stairs, when you start to go up the stairs, you sense that there are danger approaching, waiting for you upstairs. So sorry, ah, sorry, I missed that. You don't know how many of them there are. Yeah, yeah, there's a sense of danger that's uh, uh, it's pointed at you, not mon uh, every other Monday. Yeah. Okay, so uh, but okay, so here's here, here's the thing. We're gonna change uh, how you guys move. In, in uh, what order are you moving up the stairs? Since you know the danger, so I, so I can put you in. Yeah, you told them, but uh, if they ignore you, it's their, it's their fault. But it was just a feeling. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just a feeling. So yeah, you're still stranger to each other. So you're first. <laughs> Who else didn't pay attention? You listened, okay. Pyro, did you listen? Yes. All right. So it'll <laughs> Uh, so, are you gonna be in this uh, order you are in now? Uh, oh yeah, that's about right. Well, no, Tyro needs to be in the in the back. Tyro needs yeah, to be in the back. Like... And then you, yeah, there you go. Uh, so, right. yeah. So, uh, so this is uh, the furthest back. This it's a it's a wall behind the. Uh, there is like a wall. There, there's a wall here, so you, uh, the gnoll can't see you coming up the stairs until you. Uh, they, they are not friendly, so I want you all to roll initiative. So one, two, three, four. We we're missing one. Yeah. Uh, Jean, why did you press twice? Uh, because it said we want to send the result of this roll. Ah, ah, okay. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna change it back to four. You hadn't uh, pressed your token, that's why. <laughs> yeah well you can go for between you can go through your teammates but you it's a uh, difficult terrain we're both distant which is fine we're good yeah that's what we're supposed to do we can't really see i guess we can see this one a little bit can you oh can you see him um Ah, uh, yeah, so yeah, it's a fence. It's not like a wall, so more like a fence. Can't wait to 
So, Tyro, what do you do? Okay, oh, and before you attack, uh, do something. Uh, one of the, uh, this knoll here says, You will not be allowed to travel. We will make sure that you will not help the wizard. What if we give you some meat? Would you like that? Would you like some meat? Oh, we will have meat, but it will be yours. No. You're too far down. <laughs> You're too far down. So Tyro, what are you gonna do? Well, uh, I turn around and I see this ugly ass knoll staring down at us, growing red. I cast vicious mockery, and I say, oh, "Good God, <coughs> another bird with that face." Uh, you, 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 throw, uh, you cast at him. Yeah, I cast with the one yeah. that's uh, to my left. Yeah. Okay. So that is a wisdom, <laughs> wisdom save. Uh, yeah. He rolls an eleven, so he takes one damage. Oh, love, lovely. Anything else you want to do? Do you have, do you want to move, or do you have any bonus actions? Okay, you have an extra d6 for an attack skill and saving throw, I think. Yeah, I can put it in chat. Please do. There it is. So, uh, that's my turn. Hicks! Yeah, Bardic, Bardic Inspiration is a bonus action. Yeah, sure you can. Yeah, you can. You can ask two players. That's that's fine. <laughs> wow, that was loud. I <laughs> think. Okay, that's a bonus action. You still have your action and your movement. You can you, you can you, you cannot cast two spells. Yeah, it's a counter. Yeah, you can move. You, 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 you should be able to see him. Okay. Uh, it. Uh, it was a hit hit. Let's see. Since the light is obscured, so yes, barely. You, you just barely hits him. Two. 
physical damage and nothing as you know the fighting attack is just gonna be like this. Getting a little dusty there, girl. Okay, the gnome's turn. <laughs> so this gnome is gonna back up a little bit. He's gonna shoot at the paladin, at Jin, with a longbow. Uh, I believe eleven will miss you. Okay, he will move back, and the second knoll will do the same. Uh, 14. And a third, a third one will also try to attack you. And it misses with a 5. Day, Jesus, day. Okay, this... Uh, no, it's gonna go and attack with a spear. Uh, does the 17 hit you? No. Damn, you're lucky. <laughs> okay, this no, is gonna fire at Hex with disadvantage because, uh, uh, well, you're obscured and there's uh, like a bar in the way. Does an 11 hit you? No. <laughs> okay, you're fine. Orsa. Alright, well, I'm up and mad about that. I'm gonna just boot my butt over here. And we're gonna hit him with the battle axe. Did you decide to shoot it? The one that tried to hit you. Wait, uh, you can't move through uh, an enemy. Uh, all right, I hit this one. Then. Uh, seventeen, seventeen will hit. Uh, uh, okay. Why, why, uh, question, why didn't you rage before? Because it's a secondary action. It's a bonus action, so don't you have to do it after? No. Bonus, bonus, bonus action you can do before you do anything else. Oh, I didn't, because I figured bonus. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Okay. For, for the sake of me being, uh, for the sake of you not, uh, for being new to Barbarian, uh, I will give you two extra damage from the first hit. Okay. So you will do 15 damage to him, and then the, the second hit will kill him. Alright. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yeah, wait. Wait, what? Wait, no. No, oh yeah, no, uh, you, you're not hasted. So you do, you... You only do uh, two attack. You only do one attack. Uh, so you do fifteen. Yeah, fifth level and you get this extra attack. So you do fifteen damage on the first one, and you're raged. Uh, you were you were hasted the first battle. Remember, that's why you got two attacks. Yes, and that's where he will make uh, an opportunity attack against you, and uh, he will try to bite you. Wait, 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 wait. Because he makes an attack with a friendly, uh, player, uh, 
You can use your reaction, yes. But he will do his first, but 11 uh, will not hit you, I believe. No, 11 won't hit me. Yeah. No, it will not. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to do, Orsa? Yep, okay. Jin's uh, turn. You will try to do that. Let's just see if we can, uh, can hit it. That will hit. That's enough to kill it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I can reroll the one and the two. That's enough to kill him, though. Oh, it's, it's fine? Yeah, he'll die. Yeah, he's dead anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had four hit points left. I will travel over to his dead body. Okay. You block his path. Anything else we want to do? Uh, Vin, your turn. Remember, it's uh, remember. Remember, it is. Uh, Difficult terrain when you pass through one. Uh, uh, friendly. Uh, no, it's still uh, difficult terrain when you pass through because you have to squeeze through. Oh, so uh, yeah. So, okay. So, you turn into a giant hyena. <laughs> yeah. Go in the about. Really yep. Yeah. It's large. That's a miss. Yeah, you guys didn't actually know that he could transform into something this large. Yeah, he likes it. But he just goes down on his hands and knees and just transform into a hairy beast. And just grows larger and larger. Not like the Hulk, so he doesn't tear apart his clothes. It just. <laughs> okay, so you bonus action was to transform, and the action was to attack. Okay, we're back to Tyro. Y yes, you can. Uh, you can you can barely see him. Uh, is that an attack roll or no? It's a wisdom saving throw. Okay. He uh, rolls an eleven. What's your saving DC? What's your spell save DC? Well, okay, code. So he fails to save. So roll the damage. Wow, that's almost maximum damage. Holy shit. Well, you hit him pr 
pretty bad, but he's still up. Yep. Uh, the turn must make a wisdom saving throw on a failure. It takes 3 to 6 psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Mm, yep. It runs, it runs. And no, it's a new it's a it's a new turn. He runs away like a scared little knoll he is. Yeah. The, yeah, it's a D six. No, nope. he runs away. You get to use your bardic inspiration after every. Just once. No, look it up. No, it's bless you're thinking about. Okay. Uh, bardic inspiration only works once for ten minutes. Anything else you want to do, Taro? Nope, Hicks! Um, can I jump up here first? No, it's too high up. It's about it's about ten feet up. <laughs> it's a very steep chair. Uh, steep uh, stair. Go go up what what go up where? Uh, no, he's too far away, so you can't see him. Yeah, uh, it's still. You have to. You, you still. You still. You, you still have to lock. Uh, look up where you are, but you could. You could probably. You could see like these two first squares here, but then uh, it gets. Then you can. Uh, it's hard to see. Uh, you lose five for every. Uh, you lose five uh, moon speed for every moon speed you pass through. The fifteen. Thirty. Thirty-five. If you're gonna go over to here. I would say yes. Uh, he's not too obscured, so. Yeah, that hits. Well, two damage is better than none, so. Yep. So it's the Null's turn. Uh, these two Nulls are a bit terrified that you turn into a big hyena, but uh, they will engage you anyway. So they will use their spears against you. So does the 17 hit you? Sorry, I didn't change the attack. Uh, so you take 8 piercing damage from the first attack. And does a 17 hit you? 
You take 10 piercing damage. And the, the, this knoll, he is like terrified of you. He can't move any closer. But he's gonna try, he knows that you're there somewhere. So he's gonna try and shoot against, uh, shoot you, Tyro, with a longbow with disadvantage, of course. He's just, he's just barely guessing uh, that you are there. And he also, you know, will also give you another four extra AC. But he rolls a 21. So you take two piercing damage. Yeah, that was just pure luck. That was my disadvantage roll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, he's gonna start on uh, running. He's gonna run. Run, run. Orsa. You have no, no one near you. Oh, I forgot to move. <laughs> <laughs> Ah uh, yes. You can uh, you can uh, just uh, you can move like here. Oh wait. Wait guys. Hello. Han har inte varit här. Han har inte varit dit? Nej. Nej. Han har inte hört okay. oss heller. Han har inte hört oss heller. Nej, okej. Okay. Har det blivit någonting då så han har inte kunnat kun Jag har ingen aning. Ja. Har du förmiddag morgon? Ja, det är därför jag säger att jag inte är hemma på dagen. Nej, men Linda är väl hemma? Ja, förmodligen. Ja. Så då är det ingen fara. Nej. Hon öppnar, får hon ju öppna i sådana. Ja, men man måste ändå höra av sig. Ja, men du har ju gett upp telefonen till Linda. Ja, men det är ju inte så att jag kan ta det imorgon. Ja, jag är med. Ja, hej. 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 Hej.
<laughs> Thank you. Likura bye. Thank you. Uh well you can you can attack this one. Oh, you use? Did you use dash? Okay. <laughs> well. Oh uh, yeah. You you can blame the druid, but after he turns back to normal. <laughs> so, Vin, your turn. Uh, that is that one. In the corner. Yeah, you do 10 piercing damage. He's still up. He's bleeding. It took a big bite out of him, but he's still up. Okay. Tyro, you again. You're still at the stairs. No, he's uh, he clo he closed the door behind him. Oh, okay. He just he just he just ran. Well, let's see. In that room down there, in the perimeter of the wall, what can I do in this room? If I got right here, could I cast like vicious mockery on people? Mm, uh, if you like get up to here, you can uh, probably see inside and see one of the knolls. You can see you can see the one that's uh, bleeding heavily. Yes. Yeah, do it. You have to scream though because yeah, uh, you have to uh, talk or talk very loudly because he's in another room and there's a shrieking, uh, there's a hyena barking and the, the gnolls are barking too as well. Uh, okay. Let's see if he succeeds. He rolls a six, you kill him. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do you still want to be at the stairs, or you want to move a little bit? Uh, I'll move up a little bit. Okay. Hex, your turn. Uh, you can see him a little bit, yes, but he is. Uh, yeah, you would. You can. You you will be lifted up a little bit because he was standing. Uh, on a bed. Uh, there's a, there's like a, a, a cottage. You can stand. Yeah, and there's no. Definitely, definitely, not.
you, you can see that Hicks just crouching down and uh, cries and you just reach up and hug him. <laughs> it's okay, honey. It's okay, honey. <laughs> well, it's Null's turn and there are two ones left. And yeah, this one sees, oh, a mommy and a child. Mm, yummy. So he's gonna go against you. He's gonna go against you, Orsa. With a spear with a spear attack. Does a 14 hit you? No. Uh, uh, this one will go for the hyena. Yeah. Yeah, he misses with a nine. <laughs> and you misses, yeah, you miss with an eight. And the other null, you don't know. He is gone. Somewhere. Or so. I will move that body so we see you. Definitely it does. So you do seven damage. Okay. No? Anything else you want to do? Three foot tall, chubby. Well, no, Mike can take it. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and attack. Come on. Oh, there we go. oh, nice. And I'm gonna use divine smite. Oh yeah, that doubles your dice as well. Uh, wait, no, why, why are you rolling 3d6? Uh, oh, it's 2d6 plus me and 1d6 radiant? Uh, two, if it's 2d6 radiant, it will be 4d6. No, it's 2d6 plus me and 1d6 Uh, yeah, but just press the damage on the great sword. No, yeah, it will do the damage and the crit, and then you will add the smites. So that's sixteen damage. That's just the great sword. And now you do the double dice. Uh, now you double the dice on your smite. Um, I'm confused. How much did I roll with the dice? You doubled every dice. Yeah, but I can reroll the two and one. So. Ah. Okay, let's see. The extra damage for... Okay, so if you're using Divine Smite, uh, the extra damage is 2d8 for first level spell slot. 2d8? Yeah, it's a, Divine Smite is 2d8 for a first level. So when it's uh, since you crit it, it's 4d8. 
you double every damn you double each dice on a crit. So it's four. So it's four d eight. So you. Add yes, just roll four d eight. No, that's yet no. No, uh, no. Yeah, you do 16 plus 16, so you do 32 damage. And okay. uh, yeah, that's like super dead. No, it's a uh, it's 2d8 for first level. Then if you use a third level spell slot, uh, second level spell slot, it's uh, 3d8. And if you crit it on a three, uh, if you crit it on a second level. It's 68. So you double each, every dice, you uh, dice damage on a crit. Okay, Vin. One more gnoll to take care of. Yeah, you do. For 13 damage. Nice. Uh, he's still up. I'm not going to tell you how much HP he has, but it has, but you guys can guess. <laughs> you. Yeah, you just have to stand there. save <laughs> he rolled a nine yeah he had two HP he had two HP left so yeah he's dead oh yes and since the other null has run away we are out of combat So, let's see, you can be, uh, Vin, you can be a hyena for two hours, but you will be hard. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you'll fit for that. <laughs> Actually, he can, he can just squeeze through, he's just very furry. Uh, you have to lie down. You have to lie down <laughs> for her to cl be able to climb up. <laughs> like ten feet tall, or ten feet high. Oh my god! Yeah, your well, well, your world just got a large, just got large, big, uh, much bigger. So. <laughs> Also, Vin, first of all, like you said, in Federal World, you don't have all the dice that you can spend on one model in very small space. You can do what you want. <laughs> While I'm on you. Oh, uh, really? You're gonna take a shit right there in the terminus.
<laughs> okay, you're like, you're out of here. You want to turn back to normal? Can you stop moving your hyena? I'm trying to take it away. <laughs> Please do. Okay. Uh, no, they have longbow. Uh, they have a longbow and a few arrows. Uh, there are, but not nothing you have to worry about. Nothing is. Uh, you can sense like a little danger, but it's not to. Uh, nothing you have to worry about. Really. I sense something small near here. Uh, nothing big though. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like it's like below you, but uh, floor below you. You can sense there's a breeze coming from uh, this door, so it's probably gonna lead you outside and uh, so it might be like whispered to Hicks when he poops as an animal does he poop in real life? You have to ask him that. Yeah, you just got hit in the shoulder. Just you, you just got hit right uh, in your uh, right shoulder. Poof. Yeah. Uh, it uh, it didn't do much damage, so it's very easy to just pull it out. So, where do you want to go next? So you want to go straight forward or do you want to go down? Well, I'm sensing something below us, so maybe we should go check that out first? That's the floor below you, not uh, this floor. Um, no, this is the this is the same floor. floor yeah, you have to go down to check it out, but uh, it's something like, uh, it's uh, not like uh, death danger or anything like that. It, it sounds more like okay maybe there is some kind of thief that wants to steal something or something like that there's not like any danger to a, a person
Yeah, your effects on him uh, has long ended. Yeah, you go out the door. Wait a minute. Okay, so uh, when you open the door, you see like a spiral as a... You can see downwards like it's an open field, it's a open sky, uh, there's a railing and the stairs are leading upwards in a circle around the big tower. Around and around, it goes upwards. Uh, so you guess, okay. So if is any of you scared of heights? Ah, uh, they, 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 this, this is like, yeah, because you are, uh, you are about a hundred feet up in the air, and you're gonna go. For every lap you go, you go another twenty feet up, and it's uh, you kind of look up and say, oh, okay, it's like forty, fifty feet up. Uh, yeah, you can roll for it, that's for sure. Ah, well, you can start moving and see and... Uh, And just see what happens. At level eight, you can. <laughs> well, at level five, you can summon uh, birds, so. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so you guys move up and move up and move up. I will just squeeze you guys together and... Uh, yeah, just like uh, if any of you have seen the Ghostbusters. They walk and walk. Uh, in, the fir in the building and you eventually come up. Up to the top. And you are like sweating like hell. Uh, yeah, and it's really windy up, st uh, up there. And you also see the null. He's just shivering in the corner, just scared, when, scared shitless when he sees you. <laughs> I will actually give you advantage on he's scared shitless because yeah he didn't expect you to survive oh sure why not go ahead I will give you advantage on this one yeah 20 will hit Yeah, you kill him. He falls dead. What the fuck? Who did you kill? The, the last null. Oh. <laughs> That's the guy that shot. <laughs> and outside, uh, outs outside here on the ledge, you can see your big airship waiting on you. It says. Are you the five people that's gonna be riding on my ship? Yeah. We need to get going. Get on board.
<laughs> yeah, there's a the ledge is getting smaller and smaller. Uh, it was like 10, uh, 12, 13 feet, but it gets like 8 feet wide uh, at the smallest part. And the rating gets smaller and smaller as well. Wow. Double 19. Wow. Say anything? Like. I don't, I just don't think he should be holding it, but I'm not fully convinced of that. Just because of the type of stuff. I try not to be fake, and I can be fake. Okay. This is it. Come on, we that we need to get going. We don't have all day. I mean, I'm right next to you, so yeah. I'm just like holding your hand. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm going to move you over to the ship. And uh, put you on deck. Here you are. Welcome everyone, uh, my name is Driscoll. I am the captain and owner of this sh vessel. He waves from he waves from all uh, here. And in front of you, uh, next to you, uh, you have a Loria. And up there at the crossbow, you have Irnak. And down below we have Grindor and Armin. They, these are my crewmates. Uh, yes, downstairs. Uh, those of you who want to go downstairs, uh, yeah, you will be sleeping. You will be sleeping in the bunk beds. In bunk beds, uh, along with my crewmates. You can you cannot nope you cannot go through there. I'm trying to be as nondescript as possible. I think. Well, of course. Yeah, we should have had some like kind of code word that is there. Uh, we can't go to here, but uh, this is off limits. These are the. So, so where are the bunk beds? Uh, these, these are the beds. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are the bunk beds. Or hammocks, if you. Be more. Squishy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, upstairs you can see like. Uh, a table where the crewmates uh, crew eats. I'm gonna call. Like you go up, you go up there, and then you go. If you take, if you take, 
If you take this stairs, it will lead you up to the deck. Oh. I'm gonna find, see if we can find a party oh, token for you guys. I think I had a party token before somewhere. Don't remember where. Hmm, I have to come up with one. Okay, so. You are now traveling. From Sharn. Upwards along the river. You're flying above the river. Like it's like 150, 200 feet up in the air. But you can still see the river below you. Uh, below you, so that, uh, so you can enjoy the view. Uh, you can see a beautiful landscapes. You can see a beautiful forest, a beautiful river. And it's taking you about uh, two days to get up here. You keep on fall uh, falling in the river. He says that's the mo most safest way to travel uh, above the river. So in case he needs to land. Uh, he doesn't need to land. Uh, if he needs to, but he can't, uh, he can't hover, that's, uh, that's the pro most pro uh, problem. He can just fly around in circles all night if he wants to. In about, uh, at the start of the fifth day, you are all, uh, you hear something coming from behind you but you see like uh, when the sun is coming up it's in your eyes so roll a perception check anyone or all of you with this uh, with disadvantage because of the sun Oh. I use my perception. Then I go. I use this. Uh No, it doesn't work so well there. Okay. No. Sorry. Uh As as for your uh, not as for you not lying uh, liking like the flying thing. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I cannot get any worse. So, yeah, you're feeling really airsick. Uh, let's see, Vin, you managed to spot a shadow in the air coming for, uh, towards you in high speed. Uh, something big. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, when it comes closer, you see. It doesn't seem to be a living thing. It's not mo uh, The wings are not moving. So it's not like it's not a creature that that's coming towards you. It, it looks like more of a ship. Yeah, it moves faster and faster, and it's, co it's coming up to you instead of flying above you. Like 30 feet above you, and uh, ropes are coming down, several ropes. Have we had a long rest oh yeah, you have several long rests. Uh, it's the it's, uh, start of the fifth day. This is the fifth day? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. You have downtime, so yes. I would like to, um, what you have to be upstairs. Uh, you have to be upstairs, guys. You have to be on. You have to be on deck. Um, how many infusions can you have? Oh, oops, my bad. Two or three. What the hell did you do? Sorry, it was an accident. I want to do enchanted weapon on the shadow of battle. Uh, what does that do? Uh, the plus one bonus to attack. And damage roll. So you get. Yeah. So you get plus one to attack and damage. You just uh, increase the attacks plus one, and I can uh, I can fix that on a sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just attack. You just add a plus. Uh, there's a zero. Just add a one there. Uh, yeah, you can, uh, she can just... I it. I got it. And what else was it? Um... Sorry, those other two were just for me, I think. Are you using a plus one, uh, are you using a two-handed or one-handed battle axe? Me? I'm using a two-handed. That's why I upped it. Okay. Plus one there. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, now the damage is correct. Okay, so you are being boarded. You can see you can see several people coming from uh, all kinds of directions, landing everywhere. Bandits, gnolls. Gnolls, bugbears, another gnoll. Here, I was thinking you were going to be a good mate. 
Even a goblin comes. Like, what the shit is going on? Like, all these mixed creatures just coming down from the ship, and it's it's a large ship. And uh, and this is another bugbear. Yep, they are just landing right. They are swinging down on ropes. Um, duh. <laughs> no, you do not. You can just uh, you can just prepare for battle, but you don't know what kind of battle. Oh yeah, I have a lot of sheets to take care of now. And guard and oh my god, so many sheets. Somebody kill me. Uh, yeah. Get ready for battle. Yeah, sorry, sorry for me taking so long. Okay, the guards are not enemies. Uh, the noble, uh, or, or this dude here is not an enemy, but everybody else, the bandits, the gnolls. <laughs> yeah, and you have two below deck. And those black bearded dudes are bad? Yeah, uh, yes, they are. Because I uh, had to fix some uh, shit on the sheet. No. Okay, my the attackers rolled pretty good on their initiative rolls. Oh, good. Oh man, they all rolled good. Okay, the, I believe that's all of them. Okay, the bugbears are going first. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so great. Where are they? There they are. Okay. So. This bugbear, yeah, he's standing next to Jin, so yeah, you're definitely gonna take the first hit. 
Uh, but ten will not do it. Ooh. You don't want to get hit by a bugbear, that's for sure. And this other bugbear is going to go for Tyro. And he crit fails on his attack. Oh, yeah. Bandit is going to go for Driscoll. Uh, where they are? With the scimitar. Ah, uh, he misses. The sixteen. Where are? Where second? Okay, this one is gonna go. Uh, this second man is gonna go for Orsa. Yeah, but he uh, does a fourteen hit you. Oh uh, yeah, you see. Nothing to it. Orsa, your turn. <laughs> Does a 25 hit. Yeah. 12 damage, you kill him. How dare you attack me? You, you just... <laughs> you block the first attack and then you just... Wah, swish, uh, swing him down like... Nothing, like... Okay, you gotta go. You're gonna go up the stairs towards uh, Taro. Yeah, I gotta protect my adopted son now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Driscoll is gonna protect uh, protect the helm and uh, attack the bandits with a rapier. He hits with an eighteen. And I forgot to roll the auto damage. So he does five piercing damage to the bandit. He's still up. Vin. Uh, you're up. Uh, are you gonna transform? Yeah. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does does he have to make a save? Yeah, strength save. Uh, no, it does not. No. <laughs> okay, the goblin. Oh, you're gonna stand the. Uh... Okay, you're standing on the body. The goblin is gonna go up here and try to attack Driscoll. With a scimitar attack. Misses with a nat one. Nothing to it. Yeah. This knoll is gonna attack. Uh, uh, Eloria. With a bite attack. Hits. Laura takes five piercing damage. The other knoll is gonna do the same. And he bites her so he hits and bites her so hard so they start chewing her through the flesh and he's she's dead. 
Yep. They bite her to death. Oh my god. They are like... They are eating her like... They are just... They are, they are chewing on her body right now. Uh, so those were the gnolls. Jin! Jin! Yeah, well, the captain seems to be holding on uh, his own. Uh, it's, uh, he just lost uh, the female crewmate. Uh, no flanking. See the bugbear. Uh, where did it go? Ah, uh, no, fifteen misses. Fifteen misses. Yep. They have probably heard it. They have probably heard the commotion. Okay, so the crew's turn. Uh, this crew, uh, the Irnak, is rushing to aid Taro. Uh, He's gonna use a spear, two-handed spear. He's gonna attack with a 14, but misses. Uh, the other ones are rushing up. Coming here, five, 10, 15. Yeah, so Armin just gets up here and Uh, are just able to attack the bugbear. He just sees around. He just see first see the spider and try. Uh, it's gonna tempting to attack the spider, but doesn't seem hostile. So he's gonna attack the bugbear first instead. Misses with an eleven. Okay, I just got kicked out of roll 20. <laughs> I have to reload my screen. Really fast. He does, he's not able to run up anyway. Not until the next turn. So we will go, we'll go to we will go to Hicks. You can try. Yeah. Do you do you want to cast? Do you really want to cast? Uh, yeah. Okay. 
go ahead. Uh, which one are you attacking? This one or... Okay. It takes four damage. Anything else you want to do? Any bonus action? Okay. That well, uh, in that case, we go move on to Tyro. Wisdom saving throw. It rolls a two. uses reaction to run up here to the edge of the ship so Tyro and Irna has attack of opportunities or Orsa you are still at the stairs so you have a hard time reaching Yes. That's good to know. I have to refix some sheets at the restart. Uh, six. Uh, yeah, it's still alive. So, let's see if Irnak uh, can do some damage to him. Fifteen. No, he misses. Okay, you have a, uh, yeah, so an extra D. You can add an extra D6 on your attack roll or damage. No, uh, attack roll or saving throw, not the damage. Yeah, if you miss, if you feel like you're, you, you have missed before I tell the outcome, you can add the D6. So it's the bugbear's turn. So this one's gonna run down here. He's still afraid from you, but he can still attack. He's gonna rush down and attack Jin. Does a 16 hit you, Jin? Okay. Okay, so you take an extra uh, damage die. So you take seven piercing damage. Yeah. 
And uh, this bu uh, bugbear, he's just okay. No, he's not attacking you. He's he's focusing on the giant spider behind him instead. Does an 18 hit you, Vin? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, uh, Vin, does an 18 hit you? Vin? Uh, you take uh 18 plus 8 plus 6 so you take 14 piercing damage on the spider yeah and those were the bugbears now it's the bandit's turn This bandit's gonna focus on. Uh, okay, I didn't have it bandit. The bandit's gonna attack the captain. And he hits with a 19. He do, does 4 slashing damage. Let's see, you killed the other bandit or so. So it's your turn. Okay. Just add a d6. Roll, roll d6. Okay. Are you in? Are you raging or? Yeah, I, I have that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's Driscoll's turn, so he's gonna focus on the bandits. And he hits with a critical hit. It does eleven piercing damage, and just he just pierced rapier. Through the bo uh, through his chest, <laughs> die, you fucking intruder! The bandit is dead. Yes. No, no, no. The bandit just attacks the uh, the. Uh, Dr Dr Driscoll attacks the band and he just pierces through with his rapier, just kills him and tells him, Get off my ship, you intruders! And it's Vinster. Uh, which one? You're gonna... Yeah, 20 hits. Yeah. You cannot heal when you're in spider form. Uh, can you do that when you uh, don't have any hands to heal? Your druid level ten. Uh, 
combat while I mean, you choose to s while you're interrupted by it, you can use a bonus to expand one spell slot to gain. Oh, okay, you can expand the spell slot. Okay, I thought you were gonna cast the spell. Okay, no worries. Now we see. You stay there. Yeah, so you guys have an advantage on it. Orsa, the guard, uh, the crewmate, and uh, Jin, you have all advantage on him. He is restrained. And if that's your turn, it's, gob it's the goblin's turn. Uh, he can still attack. He can't move. Uh, yeah, he can still make attack of opportunities if you move away from him. He 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 just so he can't move. Uh, the goblin is gonna try and hit the captain and misses with a net one. The nulls are gonna rush up here. So this null is gonna attack you then. With a bite attack. And he hits you with a critical hit. So you take seven piercing damage. And the other one is gonna bite Hicks. No. No. But misses with a misses with a ten. Jin, your turn. You have advantage on the one above you. Yeah, he's really bloodied. So, so do you want to do attack the one that's uh, damaged and not have advantage, or do you want to attack the one that's restrained? Okay. <laughs> oh god. Sorry man. <laughs> okay. Now it's the crewmate's turn. Irnak's gonna rush down here and attack the bugbear. With the spear. Misses with a nine. Oh my god. And this one's gonna attack the one that's restrained. He's gonna move here. And misses with a twelve. And this crewmate's just gonna come out from below and just sees everything and just chaos on us. Looks around. What's happening? What's happening? Why are you asking stupid questions? We're being attacked. Oh well, yeah. I well, he was. Yeah, well, he's co confused. He sees bugbears, he sees uh, spiders and gnolls. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, okay, I will go for this dude here. 
with advantage. And he rolls a critical hit. But I kind of missed something. So that's two D eight. Uh, so he takes 11 damage. Uh, kind of missed a few things. So he takes all this restrained dude takes 11 damage. That's pretty good. And that's his turn. Hicks! I mean, how, how, I mean, how many nat ones do you guys have to roll? Yeah, and also Jin has rolled uh, several. Yeah, if you're not gonna do anything else, yeah. oh yeah. Okay, so you have two more AC. <laughs> Understandable. Tyro. This one, yeah. Okay, you're gonna do something. You you're gonna make him die a slow death, or die in the, yeah, yeah. Slow at first and then instant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like it. He rolls a six. Yes. Uh, he just being pushed, uh, falling like behind. Uh, he just falls backwards and just spins around. Gene, you can, uh, Gene and Irinak, you can just see him just spinning around, around, screaming and like. And you can. And he's gone. Oh yeah, you can see everything from up there. Okay, the bugbear is gonna... He's restrained, but he, he feels like, oh, he's comfortable where he is. He has all kinds of targets he can hit. And he he, th he still thinks that this giant spider is more frightening. Yes. 
18 hits. Do 8 damage to him. Okay. So it's, uh, it's still 8 damage. And uh, he hits you then for 22. So you take 12 piercing damage. Yes. Yeah, and the accessible damage and uh, the rest of the damage goes over to you. You should take four damage, so you should not have. Yeah, spider's gone. Yeah, he's, he's on either of those square, uh, squares. He's big, so. And Orzad, it's your turn. Uh, okay, so. You will take an take an attack of opportunity. Yep. Uh, but misses. He, he, the bugbear misses. So you. God. Yeah. Alright, and then uh, does eleven hit? So that's thirteen. No, it does not. Sorry. Yes, you do. You cannot end right. your turn. Okay. The the null is gonna is gonna do a bite action against you. Does a seventeen hit you? Yeah, first hit today. You take four piercing damage. I'm shaking in my boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's anything, if there's nothing, uh, it's not anything else, Driscoll is going to try and attack the goblin. <laughs> Misses with a five. Now it's Vin's turn. You're gonna transform again? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you have advantage on it. You wanna. Uh, which one? This down one, okay. Attack, roll and attack damage. No, not with advantage. You have only advantage on him because he's restrained. Okay, yeah, back attack. Sorry, sorry, forgot about it. Okay, let's see. Strength saving throw. He rolls a nine, so he is not prone. He is down. Anything else? Goblin. He's very stubborn. He's gonna try and hit the captain, but misses with a 14. Uh, 
And so it is the Knoll's turn. This Knoll is gonna bite the dire wolf. He's a little bit surprised. First, first you were a spider, then you were a humanoid, now you're a wolf. It just, it's a little bit confusing, but he's gonna try and attack, hit you with a 13. And the null is not prone, so he's gonna stand up using half of his movement and try to attack Hicks with a bite attack. Mm. That's a 12 misses. Mm. Jin, your turn. You have advantage, come on. Yeah, 24 hits, yes. <laughs> come on, come on. Do the damage. 12, you kill him. Okay. The guard's turn. So I feel they're having trouble. Uh, reaching. So they're gonna move up to higher ground so they can have a little better view. And then they're gonna use their Spears and throw it at the at the knolls. So this one first. It's gonna have a hard time because uh, he is slightly obscured by Hicks and Orsa, but he is on high ground, so he should be able to hit. Hopefully. Fifteen just hits. Seven. Still up, but damaged. Uh, this one is gonna attack with disadvantage because, yeah, technically the dire wolf is in the way. He misses with a twelve, and this one is also gonna attack with. Let's see. Yeah, with disadvantage. Misses with an 8. Hex! Your turn. Okay, the null is gonna try and bite you. 23 versus your AC. I don't see the damage because uh, I have something in the way. Uh, you take 4 piercing damage. <laughs> Almost half. Okay, anything else you want to do, Hex? You're just gonna run away. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. 
Tyro? <laughs> the bloody one, okay. <laughs> uh, God. Oh, sorry, not the bite. He rolls, he rolls a 14. Yeah. <laughs> Wind and the fighting. Oh yeah. How do you want to kill this dude? Oh yeah. Um, Oops. Oh, 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 sorry. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, what? Oh. Okay, you move around. Yep. Okay, Driscoll is gonna try and finish this annoying little goblin he doesn't he just he tries to stick him but uh, the goblin is so stubborn it blocks and everything so he misses with a nine then Biden uh, with advantage. 24, 11, 11 piercing damage. Nice. Yep. Fourteen. You're gonna jump up uh, he will try to bite you with a four, 14 versus uh, your AC you take f you take five okay yes go Still up. Oh yes. My favorite number. <laughs> Anything else? Evan? Okay. Okay, here's the thing. The goblin gets terrified when you jump up. Where where the steering is. And just freaks out, stumbles backwards, and falls off. He just screams around. Uh, he just, yeah, well, okay. 
Uh, let's. <laughs> oh yeah, you definitely. Okay, you bite him and you just leashes up. Uh, oops. Uh, when he goes backwards, is you bite him and you bite him in half. You you just bite his head off. So his body is lying on the ground and your he his head is in your mouth. So you're just chewing a goblin head right now. So the gnoll, the gnoll is going to turn his attention to Orza. Hello, puppy. It's going to try and bite you and he hits you for 23 versus your AC. That is just so rude. Uh, you Ah, five piercing damage. But yeah, but you're raging, so you only take two. So when you're raging, you only take half damage. It's a good thing for bar oh, when it comes to barbarians. Jin. Let's end it. <laughs> uh, well, it's not on that once. Uh, yeah, well, it's not on that one, so it's still it's still an improvement from on that one. <laughs> he just growls at you. Okay, so Grind is gonna come here and just try uh, take another uh, one of his other spears and just try to stab him. Sixteen, he just takes the spear, and just stab him right in the head. Die. You cr creature from <coughs> nasty places. <laughs> Die, you creatures. This is for Eloria. And he's the last. Oh, the intruder is dead. And that is where we will end today. No, because uh, technically something else is going to happen. We're going to take that next time. You're still a wolf? Yes. So you won't be able to. Yeah, but uh, still, uh, you're still, technically, you're still in combat, so you can't do anything. Okay. Because I have to take my husband to drill, uh, but I'll let you know when she decide on what time she leaves the house. I'll be back in that time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, would you like to assign the player to take over, or so? Yeah, um, Carter can. He, he knows. Okay. So yeah. Uh, I will make sure he has control next week. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. 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 Mm. So, guys, this is it for today. G G G. <laughs> yep. If you if you keep on doing this, I'm gonna have to like give you like inspiration for doing your bardic thing. Just so you know. Mm. Yeah, you did.
<laughs> mm, yeah. We can do that next time. Well, guys, I... he learned not to. He did learn not to just get in fights and mess up with stuff and fight with them. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a nice character. I like that character. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the session. And well, I have to go, so I'll see you. All. I'll, I was. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, I will have to go now, so I see you most of all, uh, most of you all next Sunday, same time, same place, on the same on the same ship, on the same ship. Bye, everyone. So, to my viewers, I hope you enjoyed our first live session for the year. Uh, the last session we had was the, like an introduction. Uh, small combat, you know, a little character introduction, stuff like that. Uh, we will be continuing on uh, with the stream, same time, every Sunday, uh, if uh, I have the time. I will announce in uh, advance if uh, there if there's not going to be a stream. And also this video will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Uh, down below, uh, if you scroll down, you will see the draw picture, the, the uploaded episodes. Uh, I will upload this here. Uh, and if you're not a follower or a subscriber to my ch YouTube channel, please join uh, join my small scares of uh, subscribers there. And you will be notified when I upload new videos. Anyway, uh, thank you for uh, joining up. And those of you those are all of my new followers. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. And hope you stick around for the next video next week. And we'll see if we can uh, fix the audio so you can hear the players. Anyway, that's it for me uh, for now. So have a nice Sunday and see you in a week. Bye everyone.